One tablespoon of olive oil is what we're starting with, and we're just gonna drizzle that in this big skillet. To that, we are adding eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, a little bit of salt, and you know what? A little bit of pepper. We'll mix these up, and we are gonna let these cook for I don't know, one to two minutes maybe. You want them a little bit browned and soft. Okay, these look good, they smell great. I'm gonna take about half of them and just put them on this plate for later. I think that's good enough, don't you think? Looks good. All right, put these back in here. Now we add 16 ounces of potato gnocchi. Mm -hmm. Some say gnocchi, my grandma said gnocchi, so there you have it. And that's what we're going with. Chicken broth is next. We are doing half a cup. There we go. Mm -hmm. Next is heavy whipping cream. And we want a good cup. Hopefully I have enough in here. Oop, I do. A good cup. A good cup, as opposed to a bad one. That's right. <laughs> Get that all in there. And Scott's favorite. Yes. <laughs> we are doing four oh teaspoons. I know. That's going to have some serious flavor. That's what you like. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Next is some Italian seasoning. We are doing half a teaspoon. Looks like I need to buy more. Even more flavor. Mm -hmm. That smells so good. I wish y'all could smell that. Mm -hmm. Next is some paprika. Also, half a teaspoon. We're going to do a little more than that. <laughs> really? We are. Don't tell. <laughs> I, <just did. laughs> I guess I did, didn't I? <laughs> and then a little more salt. We'll stir this all up. And then we are gonna cover this and allow it to cook, come to a boil for five minutes or so. I almost said a good five minutes versus a bad five minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we'll add more. Okay, now we're going to add some fresh spinach. Sounds wonderful. It does. I'll do a little more because it will cook down. Okay. We'll stir it in and then we're just going to let this cook until the spinach is wilted. Now we're going to add those reserved mushrooms right on top. This smells so, I really wish you could smell yeah, this. Yeah, it smells great. Uh, it looks really good. It does. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Well, you get to taste, so you get an advanced uh, tasting. <laughs> an advanced tasting. Yeah, sorry, let me move Sounds that. so Look, fancy. <laughs> now we're gonna add a little more of that paprika. Just add a little more color and flavor, mm -hmm. huh? Look Good. at that. That looks great. It does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. Well, good, because you're going to be tasting here in a second. <laughs> All right. As soon as it cools off. Sounds great. Okay, there it is. It looks mm. amazing. I'm excited Sm for dinner. <laughs> smells amazing, too. Yeah, it's early in the morning when we made this. We're not ready to eat it for dinner yet, but... Like Karen said, I get to taste it, which is probably the best part of the day, right? <laughs> Cheater. Um, so just so you know, the recipe called for some crushed red pepper. Okay, yep. I am, okay, I'm just going to say it. I'm a wimp when it comes to spicy foods. So uh, we chose not to add that in there because of me. Um, but feel free to add it if you like it. I'm sure it would add a, an extra little kick to it as well. Um, yeah, let me dig into this and, and give it a try. I'm going to go right here in the middle. 
Oh yeah, you get a little, little mushroom, a little bit of everything, a little spinach. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Let's give it a try and see. Oh yes. <laughs> oh okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is it a keeper? Definitely a keeper. Ooh. I had actually, we were, we were on vacation last week. Yeah. I ordered some Naki at a restaurant and it was super good. Mm -hmm. This is just as good as what I ordered. Ooh, okay. So yes, you definitely have to try it because I think you're really gonna like it. It's excellent. I'm excited. Yep. I'm thinking Caesar salad with this tonight, honey. Yeah. What do you think? Sounds good. Okay. Yep. All right, one last look. There it is. Creamy spinach and mushroom gnocchi. And here is the recipe for y'all. Have a blessed day.